Hello everybody, Fiber Spider back again with what remains of Edith Finch. So we just covered Molly's room and her interesting metamorphosis, and we're gonna head outside and say hello to Kitty. Hello, Kitty. Oh, Kitty. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. No. Edie would have, but Mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Ooh, we can get back inside. Good. And... Awesome gloves! <gasps> Yarn! I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Yarn. Pretty yarn in very awkward hanks and what appears to be size 8 or 9 knitting needles but they aren't proper knitting needles because they don't have the little nubs at the end what do we have here? picture of a lizard picture of a bird, another picture of a bird Lurpy, 1952 to 1963 and Purply Purply, okay What's your name? I can't read your name. Oh, and Zerpy. I'm, I'm detecting a theme here. She had an owl? And Derpy. <laughs> Derpy! It's Derpy. Okay, kind of morbid, but kind of cool. Okay. I like eccent eccentricities, because that fits with my personality just fine. All right. Uh, let's see. Ooh, artiste. Lewis died a week before we left, mm. but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Sad, but what can you do? I like how she takes a slice of a tree, you know, like the family tree kind of thing. Oh, there's the room that we were in before. Ah. Ah, Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam, Walter... Don, Gus, Gregory, Lewis, Milton, and Edith in 2004. So that's the date. <gasps> it's a ro robber ducky. You're the one. Let's see some work. Let's see. A, a viewmaster. I want to keep looking around just a little bit. Whoa. Lots of books. So we have... Oh, I see a lot of doubles. Let's see. We've got Oryx and Crake. And Oryx and Crake. Another Oryx and Crake. Another one. See, I, I appreciate the developers because I see two more copies up there. Another copy up there. And another copy right there of Oryx and Crake. How many copies do you really need? Now, I appreciate that they tried to make it look different, but... Oh, just, just a smidge more effort. Just a smidge. You know, otherwise, I think this game is positively charming. can't help but want to look around more. Norwegian Folk Tales. We've seen that book before, too, I think. Alright, let, let's look through the Viewmaster. For Odin. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Mm, of course. Oh, there we go. Oh. Odin Finch buries Aha. the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Oh. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house. What? Hoping to leave the curse behind. He... He put his house on a boat. A, a, a boat house? Really? Wow. That's... <laughs> I hope he has insurance. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Oh, I... Oh, ooh. O okay. You can see him on the roof there. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Hmm. 
Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Oh, gosh. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Okay, very interesting. I, I like how they give a bit of a backstory there. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Okay, so we've got Maui and Odin now. Alright. Who's next? Who's next? Okay, let, let's keep perusing around, shall we? Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year. Just Aww. in time to replace the old ones. Aww. Honestly, I have never knit gloves. I've knit fingerless gloves, but not gloves gloves. Not with the fingers. I would like to before I'm too old to do it. <laughs> um, but let's see. Mole man beneath the finch. Mole man? Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> okay. Ooh, tapes. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Oh, okay. Who's Edith Sr.? Let's see. Edie won't go. 72-year-old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edith <coughs> refused to go. Excuse me. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. She's feisty. I like that. And she has an interesting selection of hats. Let's see. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Can we go in here? Ah, whoa. Somebody likes pink. And frogs. And champagne <laughs> in the bathroom. Okay. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Very, very It was very a pretty pink. big trace. Yeah, very, very, very pink. Oh, hello. What do we got here? There's a secret in this bathroom. By Sven and Edie Finch. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh, hello. Da 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 da. Don't step on the book. <sighs> Calvin Finch. Oh, he died young too. Oh, there's a, a swing. It's a, uh, a deer, a swing, and a tombstone. And a selfie, a very early selfie. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Good to have a hobby. Okay, let's take a look around. Ooh, let's keep going. Alright, looks like Milton was here too. And looks like he uh, had a bit of a party. Oh, where's this go? Fort Calvin, and Fort Sam, the twins. Oh, oh, that's so sad. One kept growing and the other one, well, didn't. Oh, that's so sad. Wait a minute, you know, negatives, that's flammable. Gotta be careful. Odin Finch. 
National Park. These rooms are really incredible. They're like little museums. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. To the command center. Ah, looks like we're going on up. But before we do... Oh, that noise just freaked me out. Is there anything back here? Ooh, there is. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! Oh, wow! How cool is that? No, I don't want to go in. I don't want to go in because I didn't I didn't hit the command center first. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that I was going to find another doorway. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, so before I go through there, I want to hit the command center. Oh, this is so cool. Now, if you look, if you look closely, it still has these beams just like it's uh like an old fort, if you will, and just like on the other side, but on this side, they're more blue for the whole space theme, whereas there, it's like sort of the Old West. I, it, it's, ah, it's I awesome. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Well, if you don't learn from it, you're bound to repeat it. Oh, this is so sad, but I love this. This is so cool. Ooh. How I Want to Remember My Brother, by Sam Finch. Aww. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Oh, I'm on a swing. Oh, and I got a cast already. <laughs> so have any of you wanted to swing so high that you went over the bar? And then you jump off. It took me forever to figure out how to pump my, my legs so that I could swing by myself without any help. Well, that was when I was little. Alright, maybe if I hit the other button, can I go a little bit further? Get some momentum going. We can do this. Let's go really high. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Another mushroom? Looks like I got some words circling around my foot there. Maybe I have to get up higher. Not sure. They're just tangled around my little footsie. Oh, wait a minute. I see. Okay, you have to use both control sticks to At get that. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. See, just I like in real life. It took me a while to figure it out. Oh, no. This is not going to end well, is it? Well, ah! there's the... But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I'm a little concerned here, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm getting, I'm getting dizzy here. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Oh. Oh. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. No! Oh! Then maybe he'd still be here. Oh god. But I doubt it. Oh I no! I think he... he'd already made up his mind. 
Oh gosh. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh. Oh ho 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 ho. Ah! 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 The day he made it was nine o'clock, and he did. Oh, yikes! Okay, sorry if I was a bit loud there, but oh wow. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. See, I'm not alone. But I never did that. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Yowzers. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay, that that was a. <laughs> My goodness gracious me. Alright, so... <laughs> After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Ah. Mom said oh. Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. It's a cool room, though. Alright. Let's, let's go down the little passage. Halloween, anyone? The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Oh, hello. Ah, neato. But I don't want to go out there yet. I want to go through here. Milton was here again. Looks like Milton was everywhere. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. <laughs> Instead of Hollywood. Swan Lake. Belltown Theater. Oh, that's if I want to go back in. I don't want to go back in. Oh, sorry. That door is sealed, right? Yeah, okay. Do 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 do. Barbara Finch now showing my friend Bigfoot. Sort of like, uh, oh, she even has a little doll. <laughs> um, sort of like, you know, whatever happened to Baby Jane. Awesome, awesome Betty Davis movie. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Love that cat clock. I would love to have one of those. Seattle Starlets. Looks like she was in a lot of local theater. Aha! Dreadful stories. Looks sort of like creep show. Oh, this game is so cool. You know what? Before we open Barbara's Dreadful Stories little comic book type thing there, and uh, we'll continue on in the next one. I don't want to do too many rooms all at once because I don't know how long they're going to last. Um, but, oh. That's so sad. Oh. Um, you know, I think we're going to end here for now. But listen, thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. And I will see you in the next episode. Have a good day, everybody, and bye for now.